Live in Farms is a, a company focusing on industrial technologies to grow insect larvae uh, and our offering for customers is particularly to put industrial facilities on site of their production sites. So those are potato processors, starch processors, they have large amounts of organic byproducts every year um, and those can be transformed efficiently by insects. Uh, into protein, fats and fertilizers that they can then sell. So we offer the factories and we offer baby larvae that they can then grow on site uh, and process into products that they can sell. What we do with our product offering is that we offer a very easy automated way for customers to start turning their wastes into revenues. So it's cash at the end of the day. Almost 10 years ago, Katharina Unger started Living Farms as a little project without realizing the impact and scope that was yet to come. What I kind of knew already uh, 10 years ago is that I want to be uh, doing something that has an impact, um, something that can benefit the world. I definitely didn't picture myself in, in a big warm factory uh, in Vienna. No, that was not on my mind. I also wasn't born as like an insect lover. I went out into the world as, a, as an industrial designer. I, I was in product development. I built different kinds of products, mostly consumer electronics. And so I have a curiosity about how things work. Living Farms offers innovative solutions for companies to reduce industrial waste with the friendly support of millions of insects. The so-called uh, black soldier fly larva. So it's a fly larva uh, that is super interesting, super exciting uh, as an insect because as an adult fly, it doesn't eat, it only drinks. Uh, and as a larva, um, because it doesn't eat as an adult, um, it has to eat a lot while it's a larva to accumulate energy. Um, and that's what it does for us in our industrial system. So it eats a lot of waste materials. We're using something that is already existing. This process is out there in nature. The only thing that we do is we make it, we make it commercially uh, usable for people. Business for me means you respond to a customer's need and it has value, so they pay you for it. Um, so that mindset we had very early on and we always implemented in the way we, we built the business. An important mindset that did not change, even in times of crisis. You experience so many failures throughout time and disappointments and that's totally normal. Um, but I never seriously thought, okay, it's so bad, like we're just gonna gonna quit, yeah. There was this sense of traction that this could be something really big. So founding for me was not something where I said, I'm gonna found a company, I'm gonna exit this company in seven years time where we have a revenue of X. It was sort of almost like an organic process of one thing led to the other. Today, Living Farms is a team of 15 employees coming from 10 different countries. Being international was always very important to Katharina. She herself worked and lived abroad for a couple of years, which had a great impact on her company. So when I went to Asia, I would say one of the, one of the key reasons why I stuck around there for, for, for quite a bit was because whenever I, I, I went out and I told people about what I want to do, people were like, okay, we can do it. Even if sometimes later it came out that we can't really do it in that kind of way. <laughs> they still, there was this openness, this drive, this sense of urgency of getting the business, doing the deal, making something happen that I really enjoyed in my early years uh, being in Asia. Being in Vienna now, Katharina and Living Farms are still thinking global. We have to be international from day one.